How's it going guys and geeks? Welcome back to the Geek Critique Show. My name is Dakota and today we've got to talk about a certain actor named David Bradley who is probably best known for his questionable wedding etiquette. For some reason the, the wedding invitations have dried up. <laughs> Show me what you got. If you're anything like me and you're excited about the upcoming Doctor Who Christmas special, Twice Upon a Time, mainly because David Bradley is coming back to reprise his role as the first Doctor. And I say that with a caveat because he never actually played the first Doctor technically. He played the role of an actor playing the first Doctor. If you guys have never seen An Adventure in Space and Time, the docudrama written by Mark Gatiss for the 50th anniversary of Doctor Who, I highly recommend it. It's the story of how Verity Lambert, the, the show's very first producer, and the show's very first director, Warris Hussein, kind of pushed Sidney Newman and the BBC to create this show called Doctor Who, which is about a time-traveling alien who, go, who can go anywhere in space and time, and he lives in a phone box. It's a quirky idea that turned out to be one of the greatest ideas for a science fiction series of all time, and because of it, it is the longest-running science fiction show ever. David Bradley played the lead role in that movie as William Hartnell, who we know played the first Doctor. So we did get little snippets of him actually acting as part of William Hartnell's original act. Seeing David Bradley mimic someone else's work, it's bizarre, but it works so well and he has a striking resemblance to William Hartnell, as you guys probably noticed from the Twice Upon a Time trailer. Well anyway, I was very excited about the fact that Twice Upon a Time was going to be happening, not only because it's the end of an era for both Peter Capaldi and Stephen Moffat, but David Bradley's coming back as the first Doctor, which kind of opens up so many doors for potentially other Doctors to come in down the line. I honestly didn't expect to see David Bradley back again after the fact. Today it's been announced that David Bradley will actually be returning after Twice Upon a Time to reprise his role as the first Doctor in more Doctor Who stories. At least four new stories that are coming out in 2018. If you guys are unfamiliar with what Big Finish does, they have a license for Doctor Who where they can create all new stories that fit in chronologically with some of the other stories that were shown on TV and they create audio dramas, full cast audio dramas, where a lot of times they bring back the classic doctors and the classic companions to relive these stories. Or not relive them, but live them for the first time for us to enjoy. And, you know, they, they sound as young as they did, so that, that's awesome. They've been able to bring back Doctors 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, the War Doctor, and several other new Doctors. So to actually see that they are going ahead of the curve this time and bringing David Bradley in as the first Doctor is super cool. Along with David Bradley, they're bringing other actors who played roles in An Adventure in Space and Time to come back to the show for the first Doctor's companions. Uh, Jamie Glover, Gemma Powell, and Claudia Grant will be playing Ian Chesterton, uh, Barbara Wright, and Susan Foreman, respectively. They're two of my school teachers. Is that your excuse for this unwarrantable intrusion? You had no right to invite them here. This is amazing. And to top it all off, they're going to be implementing the very first incarnation of the Master, played by James Dreyfus. I've always wanted to see what the Master would be like in relation to the First Doctor, and now we actually get that opportunity. Also, I just want to make this point. One of the points I wanted to touch upon in the next part of my How Time Works in the Doctor Who Universe series is the fact that Time Lords, uh, Time Travelers, uh, the Doctor's Companions, the Doctor's Enemies, they all meet in the same chronological order as the Doctor himself. So it's very interesting, very interesting, that the very first Doctor is meeting the very first Master. For the first time. For us, anyway. If you're interested in that video at all, I suggest you subscribe and click that bell so that you are notified when that theory video comes out. Because I think it's gonna blow a few minds. And if you haven't already seen the first part of our How Time Works in the Doctor Who Universe video, please click right there. I recommend it, because we do explain why the Doctor continually returns to contemporary present day. It's really interesting, actually. I think so. Thanks, guys. Have a good one.